So a couple of weeks back we made a video about making your own rubs and in the comments of that video and on Twitter and Facebook etc lots of people were saying that they made their own rubs over buying shop bought rubs because of the amount of salt in their shop bought rubs. So uh, a lot of you want to make your own so you can cut down the salt and sugar in them uh, but today we're focusing on the salt. So fast forward then and I actually saw a TV program and I can't remember the name of it or what channel it was on but it was one of these TV programs that tells us that everything in our diet is bad for us and we need to change it for something else. In that program they talked about salt and how harmful it was in our diets and how much of it we were eating and they suggested that seaweed is the new alternative to salt. So that got me thinking after your comments on the other video and then also seeing this TV program that this is an alternative that led me to wonder could you use seaweed as an alternative to salt in a barbecue rub? So I have some, this is actually smoked seaweed, uh, it's from North Coast Smokehouse uh, over here in Northern Ireland but it is widely available across the UK and there's lots of different varieties of it, this is smoked dulse um, but you can get different varieties of seaweed and some of them have different salt contents in them as well so dulse is pretty middle of the road when it comes to salt contents so this might be a sort of fair test. So we're going to do a little bit of a test today. Um, I have some chicken thighs here and I have the kettle fired up with the Pro Smoke Field Dome in it. Uh, first test is going to be just straight seaweed versus salt, nothing else on the chicken. Uh, just to see what that saltiness level is like with them both. Then we're going to go ahead and add it into a kind of little barbecue rub just to see if it holds up against all those other flavours. Uh, so it's going to be a pretty simple barbecue, it's more like a, an AP rub. Uh, so it's just going to be pepper, garlic and onion and then one will have uh, seaweed in it, the other will have salt in it. So we'll go ahead first off and we'll get the chicken thighs done with the sea salt and the seaweed and we'll get them on to cook and then we'll have a taste and compare the two. So here are the first two chicken thighs and we have some of the smoked dulse here and the regular smoked sea salt. So dulse is a purple seaweed, uh, this is the little thing it comes in. So this is smoked as well, this isn't just regular dulse, but it's just dried out and then ground down into this powder so it can be used as an ingredient. Uh, so we're going to do one with the sea salt, one with the dulse, and then we'll compare the two once they're cooked. So we'll start off, we'll get the dulse sprinkled on here. Again, I've already had sort of a, a pinch test of these, and they're definitely not, um, the seaweed definitely isn't a strong salty flavour, just straight off the bat so I'm going to be pretty liberal with this. I was interested to see if that purple colour comes out in the chicken. It get a little bit odd. Oh, I've got cross contamination here. But I'm going to go with a sprinkle of salt on these. So I'm going to throw these on to the barbecue now. Uh, cook them until the skin's nice and crispy. Uh, we're not going to add any smoke to it this time. This is just a pure test of salt versus seaweed. I don't really want any other flavours going on there. Uh, so we'll cook them up and then we'll come back and give them the taste and see what they're like and then we'll move on to the barbecue rub one. Both our thighs are done, the uh, skin has crisped up quite nicely. Strangely, it's actually crispier on the seaweed one for some reason, whereas I was expecting it to be the other way around and the salt one be a lot crispier. But we're going to have to bite in and give it a try. So I think we go seaweed first because I don't want the salt one to taint my taste, so we can get the full flavour of this. So. There goes nothing. Okay, there's definitely a saltiness there, but it does add another flavour to it as well, which isn't a bad flavour, it's quite nice actually. But I'm 
just not sure it's as salty as regular salt. So I don't know whether we need to use more of it or whether a saltier seaweed would be better. I'll, dive, I'll try the salty one now. Sea salt one has that nice salty flavour that we're used to. This one just doesn't seem to hold up to it, but I'll give it another try. Okay, at the minute, sea salt is definitely winning flavour wise. However, I will say that the seaweed is much better than no salt at all. So, if you're cutting out salt completely, seaweed might be a nice one to add in there. Uh, just to get that hint of flavour with it. It still has its own seaweed flavour, which some people might think sounds disgusting, but it's actually quite nice. Uh, but now for the main test, and this is the one I'm worried about because I honestly don't think it's going to work. I was trying it in an actual barbecue rub. So, I've already taken the liberty of making up two rubs. So as we said before, this is pepper, garlic, onion, and then we have used the seaweed in one and the salt in the other. Seaweed, I've used more of the seaweed in, it, in that rub compared to the salt, purely because on that pinch taste I knew it didn't taste as salty. After trying this, I'm worried that it's gonna do anything at all, but it might just add that hint of saltiness to a rub that already has all those other flavors in it as well. On its own, it definitely doesn't do much, but maybe in with other seasonings, it's gonna help. So I'm going to rub up two more uh, chicken thighs, get them onto the barbecue to cook and then we'll try it out that way and we'll give her a final decision on it. It's the moment of the truth. I'm going to try out. So these are the ones with the rub on them. We have salt on this side, seaweed on this side. We're going to go with seaweed first again. So take a bite in. Whoa, juicy. Mm. It's a lot better in with the other ingredients, and for some reason it is tasting saltier. It's a strange saltiness, but it's maybe not what we're used to as far as salt's concerned, but it's kind of a little bit like, if you ever tasted low salt, you know, like low sodium salt, it tastes a little bit like that, and I suppose that's maybe why it's healthier for you. Hmm, don't know. All right, try the other one for comparison. Eating the two side by side, that tastes so salty compared to this one. Right, I think I've made up my mind. If you are strongly against using salt in your rubs, and you're maybe making rubs up without salt at all, this is a perfect alternative to it. You still get saltiness. You don't taste that seaweed taste off it as much whenever it's mixed in with all those other ingredients, so that kind of disappears into the background but you still get that little sort of salty kick off it. Um, so if adding salt to your rubs is something you're worried about, this is definitely an alternative. So as I said, Dulce is quite middle of the road when it comes to saltiness and seaweeds. Uh, I haven't done proper research into it, but I know there's quite a few varieties out there. Uh, some are less salty, some are more salty, so maybe one that's slightly more salty would have a better kick to it and you wouldn't have to use as much. Um, so does it completely replace salt? No, not as far as flavour is concerned for me. Is it a suitable alternative to salt if you don't want to have as much salt in your diet? Yeah, probably. I'd be happy enough to say yes. And it didn't turn my chicken purple, which is good. So if too much salt in your diet is something you're a little bit worried about, uh, as we say, all good things are bad for us. But if you're looking for an alternative, definitely do a little bit more research into using seaweed. Uh, I'll leave links below for the Facebook page 
uh, for the guy that bought me this stuff, the seaweed over here in Northern Ireland. But if you do a little bit of research on Google, you'll find tons of places. I put it in and saw loads over in England and Scotland. So definitely uh, around the coastal areas, this should be pretty readily available. So let me know in the comments below if you would consider this as an alternative or you would give it a try at least. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.